Hey there, how's it going? Back again with some more fun stuff. Today's statement reads, A sphere of linear dielectric material has embedded in it a uniform free charge density rho. Find the potential at the center of the sphere relative to infinity. If its radius is r and the dielectric constant is epsilon r. Things to know for this problem, the dielectric constant and Gauss's law for displacement with the electric displacement in relationship to the electric field. So for a Gaussian surface inside the sphere, we know that our Q enclosed is the surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared, and our free charge is rho times the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. We see that inside we get a lot of cancellations, uh, leaving us with something pretty easy to work with, d equals rho r over 3 in the r hat direction. Therefore, the electric field inside the sphere is d over epsilon, and it simplifies down to this. Instead of keeping epsilon in the denominator, we decide to substitute in the uh, equivalent relation of the dielectric constant with the permittivity of free space. Similarly, for outside, where little r is greater than capital R, we see that we have a Gaussian surface, which is again a sphere, and we have d times the surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. Uh, this time, it's rho times the volume of a sphere, but instead of little r, we have big r, since that is the limitation of where the free charge is. Uh, so instead of having the r's cancel, we only have 4 pi's canceling. Uh, so our simplification for d to e is a little bit more. Uh, but since we're outside of the uh, sphere in question, we know that the dielectric constant is 1 because we're in air. Okay, so finding the potential at the center, we recall that we have to work our way out from infinity into the center, and it's the negative uh, line integral of the electric field. So set that up for the appropriate bounds from infinity to the outer radius of the sphere. We have the electric field on the outside, and from the uh, radius of the sphere to the center, we have the electric field on the inside. Substitute in the appropriate terms. And we see that pretty much the electric fields are just a bunch of constants. Uh, but we still have to integrate with respect to r. So we only have uh, r to the negative 2 integral and an r integral. Evaluating these integrals leaves us with uh, this here where we cancel out a couple of negative signs and we have to now evaluate them. Uh, we know that 1 over infinity goes to 0, and 0 squared is 0, so 0 over anything is 0, um, unless you're dividing by 0, but we're not. Uh, so here we just factor out a row over 3 epsilon naught, um, and then we can cancel down even more. We note that the r in the denominator cancels with an r in the numerator, so we then are able to factor out an r squared, leaving us with the expression we see in the box, and that will conclude our potential.